Hello everybody, it is Christina Quick, the Tarot Biz Mentor here, and I am back with a new video in our Re Lenormand Like a Professional Psychic series. And today we are going to be getting into the combination series. This is going to be quite a lengthy series. It'll probably take us into, I imagine, probably next year. But my plan is to go through all of the Lenormand cards and go through all of the combinations with you guys. I just got back from a really, really early morning massage and facial, and oh my gosh, I'm feeling so relaxed right now. So I figured it would be perfect time to go ahead and get into this. We are going to be here for quite some time. I imagine that we'll probably be going for an hour, if not a little bit longer. So you might want to grab something to drink. You might want to grab a snack and just kind of settle in because we will be here for a little bit. There is a worksheet that you can download. It's up on the screen right now. And I'm going to be providing a worksheet with all of the combinations. And the purpose of the worksheet is this. It's going to be directed and about like creating your own combinations as we're going through these. So of course, all of my combination videos are not going to be the end all be all of combinations. They're just meant to inspire you to see to get you kind of, you know, into the groove of how the Lenormand cards actually read and the type of language that they speak, because Lenormand really is a language all in of itself. So when you get this handout, you'll see that we have the main card that we're going to be working with at the top. And if you have my deck that I just released about a month ago, you can find that in the comments down below. The deck that we're using for this whole entire course, you can actually purchase that. And when you do, um, send me your order number over Facebook if you're in my group, and I will send you a free gift. It's a printable version of the deck and the keywords. So you can stick that into your divination folder or your, your um, book of shadows or whatever it is that you like to, you know, stick that kind of stuff in and you will get that as a free gift. So all you have to do is once you make your order, you'll have an order number. You need to friend me on Facebook and then send that to me in a message and then I will send it directly to you and give you a link where you can download it. Now to get this handout, the one that we're talking about today, you need to be a member of my group because I have everything is going to be organized neatly inside of my Facebook group. So my Facebook group is called The Profitable Psychic and you can find it on um, Facebook easily. There's a link always in the description box, always in the pinned comments of all of my videos. And by the time that you're actually watching this video, you'll be able to download that. So after I'm done recording this, I'm going to go upload the, you know, course and everything like that to the group. And what you'll do is you'll get into the group. You have to answer three questions. They're very easy questions. It's just, I ask you a little bit about what your spiritual business is. I ask you how you found us. And then there's another question that's a little bit more like, okay, this is the vibe of the group. This is what we stand for. This is what we believe in, etc. And you'll have to agree to that. As soon as you do that, give me, you know, a little bit of time, I will get you into the group and then you'll look over on the left hand side uh, or if you're on mobile, it'll be at the top bar. You'll click on units and then you'll scroll down to you see the Reed Lenormand like a professional psychic unit and everything will be in there. If you cannot find it, it's, you know, as soon as I get you into the group, just tag me or tag one of the moderators in the group and we will get you over to that area to get this download. Okay. So as you can see in this download, um, you'll have space. So I've given you, you know, the, the main card up here that we're working with and then the secondary card. And then I've included the three keywords for each card that is actually on the deck that I have released. And we're going to do everything but the man and woman. So we're not going to do any of the men or women in the deck. That is going to be its own separate individual video because I just did not have enough um, room and space and otherwise this video would be way too long. So those are going to be their own individual videos that will probably be the next thing that we do. All right, so you can grab that in my group and let's go ahead and get into today's video. This is the Reed Lenormand Like a Professional Psychic series with me, Christina Quick, the Tarot Biz Mentor. 
And this is a picture of all of the cards in the deck. This is a beginner series, and in this series is meant to, this video in particular is meant to teach you all of the writer combination card meanings quickly and easily so you can get started reading professionally right. All right, so first things first, let's do just a quick review of the writer card. I already have a video of all of the 36 cards. That's the very first in the very, in the series that we're doing. So if you go back to my playlist or maybe like three or four videos back, you'll be able to find that. And I also have that. It's all going to be organized in the group. So you won't have to try to, you know, search for it or anything like that. It'll just be all in chronological order. So writer typically represents news or messages, a package or a visitor. So it can represent incoming news or an important announcement. Remember, it's always something that is coming to you through a third party. It's something that arrives to you or the person that you're asking about. It can mean that a package is arriving or a delivery is arriving. It can mean that a visitor will come by. It can mean that you will receive messages through a third party. It can also represent someone new entering one's life. That's a little bit more of an abstract way to kind of view writer, but still I've seen it kind of come up that way before. So the first combination is writer and clover and clover represents luck, opportunity, and good fortune. So some of the combinations that you could put together could be news of good fortune or a positive ruling or a settlement that one has been waiting for. It could also mean a message of opportunity is on the way. It can mean a gift that is pleasant that will be arriving soon. It can also mean a package or a delivery containing a small sum of money. Remember, so in that first video, we talked about the difference between clover and fish. So fish is a lot of money, thousands of dollars, and clover is hundreds to maybe a couple thousand dollars. So there's, you know, it could be um, anything like $2,000, a couple thousand dollars or less, and it could arrive um, to you through a third party. So it could be like a check in the mail, um, a check in a birthday card. It could be a payout, like if you do uh, stocks and bonds and stuff like that, or if you royalties. It could be a rebate uh, that you applied for previously, or it even could be a refund, like a tax refund. It can also mean a visit from someone that is unexpected or coincidental. So we've all had that situation where we run into a friend at the grocery store or something like that, or a friend just kind of pops over and you didn't really expect it, but it's kind of a fortuitous kind of meeting. It has a positive tone to it. So it's not something like, it's not like a, you know, a visit from someone that you are sad that they came over or something like that. It tends to be a little bit more on the positive side. All right, writer and ship. Ship represents adventure, travel, and sometimes even commerce. Writer and ship can represent a message or news about an upcoming trip. It can represent news about uh, someone inviting you to go on a road trip or even a vacation cruise, or it could simply be a you know, news or messages regarding travel. So maybe you have a friend that's traveling and they're telling you that they're going to be traveling or you hear from a friend of a friend that that person is traveling or that they will be traveling soon. Writer and ship can also represent a package or delivery containing a passport or foreign travel documents, especially if you had, say, book or letter also in there somewhere. Writer and ship can represent a care package or a pen pal letter from a friend that's far away. So as you read these combinations, first we read writer. Okay, so that could be the news or the package, right? Or the visitor. And where is it coming from? It's coming from far away. Ship kind of has like this connotation of something being far away from you. It can also represent um, a visitor from far away, someone that is 
abroad or overseas. They don't necessarily have to be abroad or overseas, but ship is, I've seen it come up two ways. So ship can either represent a couple hours, like in a car ride, like a distance that isn't too far, but is manageable. Uh, otherwise, um, you know, it might make more sense to take a plane. I've also seen it represent as overseas, right? So it kind of has those two types of connotations and uh, context to it. And the other cards around it, and that's what's key about reading combinations is that, yes, there are a lot of different combinations and yes, they can represent a lot of different things. But based on the question that you ask, that will give context. And then the other cards around it, the other combinations around it, that will also give you more clues as to what it's actually speaking about. Writer and ship can also represent a short business trip or news about commerce or even trade. Writer and house. So house represents family, comfort, and security. Writer and house can represent a message or news concerning a family member. Because remember, house and tree. So house and tree are very similar, but house is your inner family, your inner circle, and tree is your extended family, your extended circle. So house would be like your aunts, uncles, cousins, your your siblings, your mom, your dad. Tree could also be those people, but it can also be your ancestry. So your grandmother, your great grandmother, your great aunts, you know, other more extended versions of your family. So it could be a message or news concerning a family member. A message brings comfort or security. So if you were waiting on a message and it could be a good message or you were waiting on a settlement that would bring security or something like that, that could be representative of house. Writer and house can also mean a care package from a relative. So whereas, you know, you have writer and uh, ship that could be like a care package from a friend that's far away it could be a relative but still it's far away uh, a packet a care package could be from a relative you know it could be like um you know packages that are delivered to college you know care packages or um you know you might even see like writer house and ship if someone's like in the military and stationed somewhere and they receive a package from home so the card combinations that you have really gives a lot of nuance to giving a lot of detail about the subject. Writer and house can also represent a package or delivery to one's home address, right? Because it's literally your house. Lenormand can be literal. Writer and house can represent a new person entering one's family or a close-knit circle. So like I said, you know, a writer can represent a new person entering one's life. So it could be a new person is entering the family. That could be a new brother-in-law or new sister-in-law or your one of your parents gets remarried. Or even, a, you know, if you have stork in there or if you have tree in there or some of the other um, cards in the, or like child, it could actually represent that someone will be having a baby or news about someone having a baby, right? And it can also represent a visit from a close friend or a family member. The next combination is writer and tree. So with writer and tree, it can represent a message or news concerning one's health. It can represent a message from an extended family member or about one's family or a new member entering the family, possibly a new baby or a child. Writer and tree can represent a package or delivery containing health items like supplements. It can mean a visit from a healthcare professional. So if you have like a doctor that comes to the house or nurses that come to the house or hospice or something along those lines. And it can also represent a visitor from one's past. And as we're going through these, you know, if you have any other alternative ideas or you have any other insights about different combinations, write them down in that workbook that I've given you. So you have that you can add to your library of, you know, your own card meanings. The next combination is writer 
and clouds. So a reminder that clouds means uncertainty, confusion, and doubt. And remember, we talked about the different sides of the clouds. So typically on the left-hand side of the clouds, they're dark and stormy, which means that the, a lot of the confusion is on that side. So if we're reading about you know something and we have the clouds and we want to know what is being concealed or what has not been decided or what is um, you know being doubted at that time, you can look on the left hand side and that will give you some more nuance. Whereas the right hand side, they're a little bit fluffier. They're a little bit more white. And that means that there's, you know, that's where the breakthrough is going to come through. And that is where, you know, the, the kind of the resolution is going to be on the right hand side. And if you think about it, if you just think about like traditional reading, like left hand is like past or like what is currently going on and the right hand side is like the prediction that you can see how that kind of makes sense. So writer in clouds represents a message or news that is concerning and or confusing, or it could just mean receiving mixed messages. It can mean a package or delivery without a tracking number or an unclear delivery date or a package or message that one has no idea who it's from. Writer in clouds can represent a visit that may be uncertain or it just maybe won't happen. And writer in clouds can represent a visit or a message from someone who struggles with depression or even mental illness. Writer and snake. So remember, snake means treachery betrayal, lies. It's the ne most negative card in the whole Lenormand deck in terms of, you know, motivations and intentions of people. It's really not usually a great sign when the snake shows up. So writer and snake can mean a message or news concerning treachery, betrayal, lies, and even in deception. It can mean news regarding complications and further delays. You're expecting something to come through, but for some reason or another, just something happened that it didn't work out the way you thought it was going to. Writer and snake can represent a package or delivery that might be dangerous. So take caution. Uh, maybe there's something broken in the package or maybe there's, um, you know, piece of something, a piece of glass or something like that. Uh, or maybe it's something that might just otherwise be dangerous. Like maybe you ordered some magical herbs online and they're toxic or poisonous or something like that. And you might have to take extreme caution to make sure no, no kids or, you know, little animals or pets, cats, dogs, whatever, get into that package. Or it could even mean that, you know, maybe some of the packing stuff, like, for example, those peanut package, um, those peanut filler things, you know, the styrofoam things. A lot of dogs and cats try to eat that and that can be kind of dangerous. So take caution. It can also represent a visit from an aphronomy. If you've never heard that term, it means someone that appears to be your friend, acts like your friend to your face, but really is not your friend. <laughs> or it could be a visit from a person who doesn't have your best interests in mind. Writer and snake can also represent a visitor, a message, or a package gets lost on the way to you. Maybe it takes an alternative route, right? Because we think of snake as being long and kind of coily. And so I've had packages where I've ordered that like, they'll get on the truck, they'll go to their destination, they forget to get unloaded, and then they go back to their original destination. And then they have to keep going back. So they kind of recoil. The next combination is writer and coffin and coffin means tragedy. It can also mean ending and loss. Something comes to an end, right? So writer and coffin can represent a message or news of a situation that is ending or being resolved one way or another for better or for worse, right? can also mean news of a tragedy or loss or a message of even expressing condolences. Coffin is not always, doesn't always have a negative tone. It has a little bit more of a negative tone than a positive tone. However, it just, you know, it just more has that energy of something's ending, you know, and that could be a good thing. It could be a negative thing depending on the situation, but there's like, there's nothing you can do about it anymore. You know, it's over. It's done with. Writer and coffin can represent 
a package or delivery that reaches its final destination. Or I've even seen coffin kind of appear as a mailbox, you know, it means that the package or the letter is in the box. Writer and coffin can represent a situation that requires great change and upheaval is coming. So this could be some really shocking kind of news. And it can also mean a visit comes to an end or a visitor cancels their trip. Writer and bouquet. So bouquet represents courtship, gift, a helping hand. Writer and bouquet can represent a message or news from a suitor regarding courtship or even dating. It can represent news that is joyful or even an invitation or an announcement from a generous friend. Writer and bouquet can represent a package or delivery from a good and generous friend. It can be a literal gift of flowers. You could have flowers delivered to you, your home, your office. Writer and bouquet can represent a visitor that will provide you with a helping hand. Or it can simply mean a visit that will be happy and fun. Writer and scythe. So scythe represents cut harvest clear. And writer and scythe can represent a message or news about a quick and sudden sharp decision that has been made. So when it comes to scythe, it's like quickly, you quickly cut something. It's sharp. It's, um, you know, there's no qualms about it. It is what it is. It's, it can't be inferred as anything else other than what it is. Writer and scythe can be news of an accident or something quite unexpected. And it has a little bit more of a negative tone. So, um, you know, when we think about writer and clover, we think of something like coincidental or unexpected, but it's kind of serendipitous, it's fortuitous. Now, when we think of writer and scythe, it is something that's unexpected, but it is something that kind of has more of a shocking or, you know, sharp kind of tone to it. Writer and scythe can also mean a package or delivery arrives swiftly. Writer and scythe can mean a visitor that has an emergency or has an urgent need to arrive or a visit that is cut short. And it can also mean a negative situation that happens to someone quickly and suddenly. Writer and whip. Whip represents argument, strife, and dispute. So writer and whip can represent a message or news that is difficult or even conflicting to what one was even expecting. It can also mean a package or delivery that is the wrong item or contains broken pieces. It can mean a visit from someone that is a chore to entertain. Writer and whip can mean a visit that ends up in an argument or a dispute. And it can also mean a visit from a friend with benefits. Writer and birds. So birds represents gossip, a rendezvous, or even negotiation. So writer and birds can mean a message or news of gossip and rumors. So hearing a rumor, someone, a third party delivering rumors to you. It can be an invitation for a rendezvous. It can be a package or delivery from multiple people. So like a couple of people, or it can actually mean multiple packages or gifts, right? So birds have the energy of multiplicity. It's kind of like crossroads in a way, whereas crossroads is like multiple choices. Birds can be, can mean multiple people or multiple items. Rider and birds can mean a visit to catch up on life's happenings. So kind of like that chitter chatter, you know, think about birds as they're chattering about, they kind of just catch up, they kind of just chat about. Rider and birds can mean a visit that is stressful, intense, right? Because birds has a little bit of a nervous, anxious, anxiety kind of energy to it. It's not quite, it's not negative in terms of like mice, Mice is more like, a, it's definitely a negative type of anxiety, whereas birds can just mean, you know, it has kind of like a flitting about nervous kind of energy or something that, you know, has to happen really quickly or something like that. 
and Rider and Birds can mean a visit with an acquaintance to talk business or enter negotiations. It could be an, um, someone is asking you for an interview. It could be a business meeting. It could be something along those lines. Writer and child. So child represents innocence, naivete, and spontaneity. Writer and child can mean a message or news from or regarding a young person or even one's child. It can mean news of something new or a fresh new start. It can mean a package or delivery arrives spontaneously and fills one heart with childlike wonder. Writer and child can represent a visit from someone that is immature and, and that's supposed to say irresponsible, but exciting and fun. And it can also mean a person who is new enters one's life or a spontaneous visit. Writer and Fox. So Fox represents caution, deception, and cleverness. Writer and Fox can mean a message or news that may be based on white lies, deceptions, or untruths. It can mean news that might be too good to be true, like spam mail or even a scam. Writer and Fox can represent a package or delivery that looked better online than it does in person. How many times have we ordered something online, like a dress or something online that looks really great, the price is right, we get it, and it's just like it looks nothing like the picture online. Or if you're, uh, you know, online dating and you go to meet someone or someone comes over and their picture looks way better than they do in person. Writer and Fox can also represent a visitor who may be a pathological liar or may be pretentiously impressive with a grandiose imagination or even a visitor who dips out on the bill. Writer and Bear. So Bear represents protection. It can also be resources like your financial resources, your asset resources, um, the people around you, and power. So writer and bear can represent a message or news from one's boss or an authority figure, even a mother figure. It can represent a package or a delivery of information regarding investment opportunities, retirement benefits, 401k statements, or regarding stocks and bonds. Writer and bear can represent a visit with a powerful and protective friend or acquaintance. And it can represent a visit with a somewhat overbearing and stubborn person. Think if your in-laws were coming to visit. Writer and stars. So stars represents healing, recovery, and your network or networking. So writer and stars can represent a message or news that inspires hope, such as a recovery from an illness or a difficult situation. It can represent news that reaches many people, such as a networking news blast. Writer and stars can represent a news or message that relates to one reputation or social status, especially if garden is in there somewhere or moon. Writer and stars can represent a package with many items many little items. It can also represent a visit from multiple or many people in a kind of social event or soiree. Or it could just mean a visit from a friend is rejuvenating. Writer and stork. So stork represents improvement, upgrade, or even relocation. So writer and stork can represent a message or news regarding the need to relocate or even to take a short trip. It can represent news that announces an opportunistic change in one's career or job. Writer and stork can mean a literal birth or pregnancy announcement, especially if there's tree or child in there somewhere. Writer and stork can represent a package or delivery that will upgrade one's quality of life. Or it could simply mean a visit with someone who travels frequently, like a snowbird. Snowbird is someone who lives in one place half the year and another place half the year, and it's usually due to weather issues. Like, I'm from Arizona, and we have a lot of people that leave in the summer. They go up north to, like, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Montana, places like that. And then they'll come back to Arizona in the winter when it's, like, basically the same degree. So it's like... 
they travel so they're always in a place that's like 60, 70, 80 degrees. All right, writer and dog. So dog is loyal, dependable, and trustworthy. So writer and dog can represent a message or news from a, or regarding a friend that will provide the assistance and help one needs. It can mean a package or delivery from a close friend or acquaintance. It can mean a situation or person delivering on their promises, following through. Writer and dog can represent a visit from a loving and loyal friend, or it can mean a visit that is recurring and happens consistently. Writer and tower. So tower is all about institutions, hierarchy, authority, influence. Writer and tower can represent a message or news from or regarding an authority or institution with a hierarchy, such as a ruling or an official decree. It can mean a package or delivery from an institution, such as a bank, school, or government. Writer in tower can represent a visit with someone that leaves one feeling even isolated or disempowered. Or it can mean a visit with someone with a great deal of authority and influence. Writer and garden. Garden represents gathering public place and community. So writer and garden can represent a message or news about a public event or about even one's social status or role in the community. It can mean a package or, or delivery or even an invitation to join the social gathering such as a wedding ceremony or a charity ball or even a networking event. Writer and garden can mean a visit from a party planner or public relations specialist. And it can also mean a visitor who travels and represents a group of people such as an ambassador. Writer and mountain. Mountain represents obstacles, challenges, and delays. So writer and mountain can represent a message or news regarding challenges and obstacles that may interfere with one's goals. It can represent a package or delivery that encounters many delays and arrives later than expected. It can mean a visit from someone who is very difficult and problematic to deal with. And writer and mountain can represent a visit from someone who encounters many issues and obstacles to reach their destination. Writer and crossroad. Crossroad represents choices, options, or even being an impasse. So writer and crossroad can represent a message or news involving one of many choices or having multiple choices to decide upon. So if you're waiting for like a job offer and you receive news that, you know, maybe you are one of many candidates, or it could also mean that you have many job offers. It can also mean news that a situation could go one way or the other. Writer and crossroad can represent a package or delivery that experiences a short delay or goes on an alternate route, but it ultimately arrives. And it can mean a visit from someone who can't make up their mind about a situation. Someone comes to you for advice. Writer and mice. Mice means theory, stress, and worry. Writer and mice can represent a message or news that is stressful or produces high anxiety. It can represent news that something or such a situation is worse than originally thought, like a higher bill than you were expecting, or there was more damage. A package or delivery that gets stolen or damaged in transit. It can mean a visit from someone who instigates anxiety. And writer and mice can also mean a visit from someone who is fidgety and high energy, especially if you have birds in there as well. Writer and heart. Heart represents love, desire, passion, following one's heart. So writer and heart can represent a message or news delivered straight from the heart, a heart to heart kind of conversation, especially if you have like letter or um, birds in there. Birds could be like a phone call, you know, that you have. Or it could be a message of a romantic nature, news of a lo new love interest. 
Writer and heart can represent a package delivery or gift given out of courtship or a close bond. It can represent a visit from a suitor or someone who loves very much or a visit from an emotional or very passionate person. Writer and heart can also represent a new love interest enters one's life. Writer and ring. Ring represents commitment, dedication, and promise. So writer and ring can represent a message or news about an engagement or a new commitment such as a job offer. It can represent news or a message that one has been in expectation of and follows through on a prior commitment. Writer and ring can represent a package or delivery containing something precious and of value such as joy, crystals, and gems. Writer and ring can also represent a visit from someone who can depend on and who is committed to the relationship. And I just had a really funny epiphany aha moment. So I ordered a bunch of things like forever ago on Amazon and they got lost. And today is the day that I'm filming the writer video and I got the notification on my phone that my items will be delivered today. That is hilarious. Just a little fun tidbit for you. Okay, writer and book. So book represents something hidden, secret knowledge, and it can also mean research. So writer and book can represent news or a message about a situation or topic that has been since been concealed or not public knowledge. It can represent a package or delivery containing informational and educational items such as books or courses. It can mean a package or delivery containing legal documents such as rules, contracts, or policies, especially if there's like a letter involved in there. And writer and book can also represent a visit from a learned person or someone in academia, such as a tutor or a study pal. Writer and letter. So letter is about correspondence. It, it can be messages. It can also be information. So... Writer and letter can represent a message or news in the form of a written source like email or letter. It can be mean uh, receiving an unexpected answer or a reply from a third party. A package or delivery containing important documents and pertinent information or even a digital delivery of goods through the internet. And writer and letter can also represent a visit from a pen pal or someone who enjoys talking and communicating a lot. Writer and Lily. Lily represents maturity, peace, and wisdom. So writer and Lily can represent a message or news that brings peace and serenity. It can represent a situation that reaches maturity. Writer and Lily can represent a package or delivery that contains relaxation materials such as spa products or even a book of wisdom. Writer and Lily can represent a visit from an elderly or mature person. And it can also mean a visit from a person who has seniority, tenure, or precedence over oneself. Writer and Sun. Sun represents happiness, resolution, and success. Writer and Sun can represent a message or news that brings happiness and fulfillment. It can mean news that brings a resolution or illumination to a problematic situation. It can mean news of a positive outcome, a victory, or even a success. Writer and son can represent a package delivery or gift to honor one's achievements, such as a certificate or an award. And writer and son can represent a visit from someone that makes one feel warm and fuzzy inside. Writer and moon. Moon represents recognition, fame, and intuition. So writer and moon can mean a message or news that comes habitually, such as a subscription to a newsletter or a magazine or even a horoscope, especially if stars is in there somewhere. It can mean news regarding one's reputation or professional ranking. Writer and moon can represent a package or delivery that comes once a month or even on a schedule. And it can mean a visit from a famous or infamous person. Moon doesn't distinguish between good fame and negative fame. 
and also rider and moon can represent a visit from an artistic and or creative type of person. Rider and key. Key represents the solution, access, revelation. It's the light bulb moment. It's an aha, epiphany kind of card. And when you have writer and key together, it can mean a message or news that provides clarity or an answer or a resolution one has been waiting for. It can represent a package that provides access or illumination to something. A visitor that inspires one to find the answers to their problems or provides spiritual guidance. Rider and key can represent a third party that delivers the insight or perspective one has been needing, or it can simply mean that the solution is imminent or on the way. Rider and fish. Fish is about abundance. It's lucrative, and it can also mean currency, self-sufficiency. So rider and fish represent a message or news of a lucrative investment opportunity, or even a job offer or contract. It can mean a package or delivery involving finances, such as a check in the mail. It can mean a package or delivery that evokes a sense of luxury or a very expensive item. Writer and fish can represent a visit from a rich friend or a visitor who is well endowed and well off. And it can also mean a visit from a business person. Writer and anchor. Anchor represents endurance, fixation, and stability. So writer and anchor can represent a message or news of reassurance regarding permanence and stability, news containing information that will affect one for a long time into the future. It can also mean a package or delivery one has been waiting a very long time for. In my case, <laughs> that's for me today. Writer and anchor can also represent a visit that turns out to be longer than anticipated. Or it can simply mean a visit with someone that makes one feel safe and content. Writer and cross. So cross is a card of obligation, burden, and sorrow. It's similar to coffin, but it has a much more negative tone to it. So writer and cross can represent a message or news that brings sadness or a feeling of being responsible. It has a negative tone, such as a punishment or retribution for a past grievance. It can also be a package or delivery containing spiritual or religious items. Rider and cross can be a visit out of obligation, such as visiting one's aging parents or a weekly church commitment. And rider and cross can also mean a visit with someone who is spiritual, religious, or has even a lot of difficulties in their life. Well, we got through that a lot faster than I thought, which is a good thing. That means that these videos won't be too, too long, but I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the writer combinations in the Norman deck. And don't forget to grab your copy of the PDF handout so that you can print it out and you can write down some of the, you know, some of the combinations that I told you about that you really liked, or even some make up some new combinations of your own. And if you found this training helpful, please consider liking the video with a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel for future notifications, and sharing this video with your friends. And don't forget to join my free Facebook group. The link is in the description box below. It's also in the pinned comment. And here you can find me online. I'm on Instagram as Tarot Biz Mentor. This is my group link. It's Heart Centered Spiritual Biz Support. And of course, my YouTube link is right here. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video.